What's going on guys? So I am here at Dell Air RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this brand new open range fifth wheel. This is a really nice fifth wheel, relatively short. So if you're looking for a unit that you can likely fit into some parks that require shorter RVs, this might be something you're interested in. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit before we get much further. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,500 pounds, so it's relatively light. This has a cargo capacity of 2,270 pounds. It rides on 16-inch wheels and E-rated tires, and it has twin 6,000-pound axles. So the axle capacity of this unit is only 500 pounds shy of meeting the entire gross vehicle weight rating of this unit, which is really nice. This does have electronic leveling system, so you can see it up front, but it's only a four-point system because it's a relatively short unit. It also has the JT strong arms which are really nice. They're essentially these stabilization arms right here that whenever you get your unit leveled out you tighten those up and then you just level it out just a hair more and it kind of makes the entire system a little bit more rigid. Basically helps the interior from moving around as much when you're walking around. Let's take a look inside of this front storage hatch. I like that they use nice piston arms to raise this. One of the reasons for that is because there's a slide here and if it opened up any higher, it would hit that. This is not on a drop frame. That's why you see the step up right here, but it does have a pretty good size storage underneath. You can see your large inverter here, which generally means this is gonna have a residential refrigerator inside, plus your power disconnect right there, which essentially kills all power coming from the batteries. So you don't have any type of a parasitic draw. Back here is gonna be your water connection panel, which is really nice. Comes with a free bottle of water and you have everything nicely tucked away in its own panel door, which is really cool. And that's actually kind of rare. Not a lot of brands do that. This is gonna be the back of your furnace. That's the back of your water heater. And then all your sewer connections and everything are down here. This has cable driven slides. Looking underneath, Westlake tires. This has an eight inch I-beam frame with a two inch box section beneath it. And the box section is really only over the suspension area right here. And the reason it's there ultimately is to raise the chassis up slightly. So it's a little bit more level with these more modern taller pickup trucks. Coming around, this does have the Dexter Easy Flex suspension system on it. This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator. So it is a residential refrigerator. And that's going to be so you can winterize it. This is the back of your 50 amp connection for your twin air conditioning systems and the rest of the power, of course. Those are all your ground control auto leveling. All LED lighting back here, frameless windows as well. These units always look really nice from the outside, even though it has more of kind of a neutral color to it. Very, very nice, very appealing from the outside. You have a two inch trailer receiver back here. What's interesting is there's no bumper. So traditionally you'd have a bumper and then the receiver would be right under the bumper. But in this case, you just have a receiver that extends out about 10 inches off the back. It's very interesting. On this side, you can see you have your cable driven slide as well. This unit does have a large outside kitchen. So what's interesting is it's not really a large outside kitchen, but it's a very, very complete outside kitchen considering how large it is. So you have your cooktop right here, which is really nice. It's a nice griddle. And then you have a sink, which I absolutely love to see in outside kitchens. You have storage above, and you can actually use this panel right here to support your TV. And you have a nice micro refrigerator outside. Plus this door is large enough that if it starts raining, you can seek shelter underneath it. Coming around, three year limited structural warranty on these units. Again, the Dexter suspension. On this side, you can see that it has the LCI solid steps. Again, what I like about these steps is the fact that this top step is much deeper than its competitor. Gives you a little bit more stabilization, but more importantly, you're a little bit further away from the door when you step up, so it's easier to swing the door open. This is the 284 RLS. I also like the fact that everything is key to like in this unit. Stepping up inside. Very, very nice interior. This is a rear living room interior, but it's a compact rear living room interior, which makes this a lot more applicable to getting into some parks that you might not be able to fit larger units in. Nice freestanding dinette, but what's cool is they put this little 
booth attachment next to the seat. Open Range does a lot of really cool things with their units. Another nice thing that they like to talk about is the fact that they use PVC for the roof material as opposed to traditional TPO. I do consider it to be a slight upgrade over TPO, but I don't necessarily consider it to be like groundbreaking. Also, they laminate the sidewalls of their slides, and that is actually a pretty nice thing. In many cases, RV manufacturers laminate the sidewall of the entire coach and then the outer sidewall of the slides, but this area right here is generally wood construction so they can get their wiring and everything through it easier. When you laminate the sidewall, you have to plan for your wiring in a much more in-depth way before you actually build your sidewall because you need to be able to route your wires through it. I like both. I like it when there's wood construction there because if I ever have to get to the wiring, I can get to it relatively easily to change it out. If I have foam construction back here and this is basically laminated shut, it's very difficult to do a repair to it, or at least more difficult than it would be if it was wood. I like the trim up top and I also like how it kind of arches out, so that's really nice. I can't tell if you can see that on the video, but it looks nice. Entertainment system here, you have nice storage there, plus your fireplace below. And I like this wallpaper design that they've put here. And it's more of a linoleum style backing as opposed to wallpaper, but it looks really nice. Nice full-size sofa in the back that will pull out into pretty much a queen-size bed. Plus you have your theater seating here with your power controls for heat and massage. Lots of storage up top. And you can see your return air ducts for your Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. So that's very nice. You can also see that they put the floor heat register in the sofa itself so it's not actually in the floor, which is also really nice. And this is something they've been doing for a while. The other thing you can see is the linoleum floor here, so you don't have carpet on the slide. It's linoleum on top of linoleum, and it looks somewhat flush. Now, the only problem with this in some cases is this. You can see how it's kind of shifting up a little bit. And part of that is because when the slide closes, it might push it up against this area right here but it'll ultimately settle down. But this is one of the reasons why some manufacturers stick with carpet, because it's less likely to do that. And while I'm down here, you can see that that chair also has that flip up bench like this one, which is really cool. A lot of really cool perks to these open range fifth wheels. They've done a lot of very interesting things that other manufacturers don't do. They have the insignia, the new higher end gas range right here, which is really nice, four burner cooktop, nice large stove this is just a beautiful beautiful cooking center over here you can see it has a whirlpool refrigerator residential refrigerator then you have your island here you can see that this has a sale price of fifty thousand nine hundred dollars huge pantry area i mean this is an enormous pantry area i don't think you would ever run out of space in a pantry that large Overall, though, beautiful, beautiful living room area, beautiful dining room and kitchen. Plus, the cooking area is great. Plenty of countertop space, especially considering how compact this unit is. Now, this unit has twin air conditioning systems, one in the back, one up front. But if you were so inclined and you really wanted to try to add a third one, this vent right here might give you that option. But just understand that vent is really designed to be able to help vent some of the fumes that might come up from your food, some of the, the smoke and the things that you want to get out of your RV when you're cooking. I also love the fact that they have all these drawers right here, more cabinet space. That's kind of the story behind this. This gives you the feeling of a much larger fifth wheel, but in a more compact design. And I do like the fact that they put that same kind of backing here as well. It just looks really nice. Coming this way. You have all your controls right here. I like the fact that even though they're placed low, they put a door covering them because that's going to keep the kids from constantly pressing buttons if you have small ones. You have a nice closet space up here. Very important if you live up north and you're in an area where it snows a lot and you want to have a nice little closet when you enter. Coming up the stairs, I like the design of the door. Coming into the bathroom. A lot of space in here. One piece shower stall, which is very nice. Plenty of room in front of the toilet. Actually, you really don't even need to mention it because it's so large. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice towel rack over here. You got twin mirrors. You got a mirror here and you got a mirror there. Plus you have some extra space right there. And what a lot of people love about these units is this piece right here. The fact that you have this nice little pull out drawer, which if you're, you know, doing makeup. If you're doing something in this area, you have an area to put your stuff. Plus you have your drawers there. You have more storage underneath the sink and then you have more storage behind your mirrors. 
both mirrors. Now stepping into the bedroom area, good size bedroom, queen size bed. This unit is not going to have a king size option, mainly because you're limited by the slide width right here. And this is as wide as you're going to be able to get. Sliding door here to get into the bathroom. You have another door right here, which has kind of a frosted glass. I don't know if I would have gone with that here, simply because if you want to black out this room at night, that might make it challenging. You'd have to probably put something over that. Up top, you have your second air conditioning system. It's a whisper quiet, so you can see your return air ducts here. You also have a place to mount your TV. Nice dresser space here at the end. Taking a look at your closet right here, you have your washer and dryer connections here. You have the ability to remove these shelves if you want to put a stackable unit in. You have power up top, which is nice. Over here, you have more storage underneath right here, and you have a huge closet space. Overall, very nice. You have about two and a half feet worth of room between the end of the bed and your dresser. And this sits really low, so you can actually use this as somewhat of a desk if you needed to. You could put a little chair right here, and this goes back probably about 18 inches. So it's a good size, and you'd have a good view because you have a window right in front of you. Anyways, guys, I'm a fan of this fifth wheel. I think it has a lot of elements people would really enjoy. It definitely has a lot of nice amenities to it. It feels like a much larger fifth wheel, even though it's relatively small. It still gives you the full rear living room you're probably looking for if this is the floor plan you're looking at, plus plenty of countertop space in the kitchen and nice higher end appliances. This is something I think a lot of people, especially if they're looking for a relatively light fifth wheel that is one ton single rear wheel towable, isn't gonna transfer a tremendous amount of weight over to the pin, and it's something that's in a pretty affordable price bracket might be interested in. Anyways guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.